I want to be very clear. I do not believe in divorce or co-sign divorce because it's not biblical. God's words is clear on this subject, and I believe God's work from cover to cover. I do not want to mislead um, anyone or misguided anyone. I believe that marriage was designed for man, for man and woman. I believe that, that marriage was intended to be eternal. I believe that marriage is a gift. I'm so thankful for a second chance in life. I believe that God intended marriage just to be so beautiful and so amazing. I believe God can heal and redeem marriages. I believe that only under biblical grounds should divorce be pursued. I don't believe that divorce has to be the answer and if there's ad adultery in a marriage. God can and has used others to have experienced that for his glory. And if that is your story today, do not feel less because you are not. God take ugly stories, wounded hearts, damaged people, and make them beautiful. He turned my life around. So if you are in a relationship, you're engaged, you are married, you're divorced, you're separated, you're widow, whatever your situation is today, God is still good. God still loves you. Make him your everything like I did. I had to really turn myself into God and start spending time with him, start digging in his word. He became my everything because when everybody left me, he was right there with me. His promises are true. You know, in the midst of trials, some, we don't always see God's hands and listening to his voice, but he is there. But the good news is, I didn't always feel God's there, you know, physically with me, but I could always feel his presence near, even when I had no one there, but I had his peace. See, when prayer becomes your habit, miracles become your lifestyle. I would, I remember getting up in the morning, covering the children and covered them in prayer. And I said, Lord, I'm getting out of the house today. I'm going to work. I don't walk around. I don't want to walk around defeated, tired and, and bitter and angry. Lord, I want you to take your first place in my life. I want you to lead me today. I want you to guide me today. I want you to cover me today. You promised not let me to not let me be put to shame. So I had to really put my faith into action and trusting God for every little thing. See, a faithless life is not the best way to live. And so has it not having faith in God? I don't know where I would be. So there, you know, there's a lot of definition when we talk about faith. You know, I must say that faith is trusting God even when you don't understand, even when you don't see anything, even if you don't see the progress, even if when it doesn't make sense to you. Through it all, I never lost my praise. I never lost my hope, like the song says. I never lost faith. I never lost my confidence because God never left me. He was right there with me. And so I want to encourage you today to continue just to really focus and keep your eyes focused on it, on him. Not your struggles, but keep your eyes focused on Jesus. It doesn't matter what your past look like. God is bigger. So let me encourage you today just to keep your eyes on him. God is bigger than your past. He's bigger than your pain. He's bigger than your anger. He's bigger than your fears. He's bigger than your scars. He's bigger than your insecurities. So I want you to trust him today and make him your everything.